on guys turbo details here welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a how-to video and I'm going to show you exactly how to clean wheels and tires rims all of that on a 2011 Toyota Sienna XLE so that's a huge minivan it was a little bit of a pain but let's get right into this how-to what is up guys Aaron here from turbo details and like I said in the intro welcome back to another video so I'm currently filling up the bucket of water. We're just doing a one bucket here. I'm gonna fill it with soap. And you're gonna see here in just a quick sec, a nice little slow-mo of the soap. It's pretty satisfying. And I like to fill up the buckets halfway here with about 20 to 30 to 40. It all just depends on uh, the kind of ratio of soap that I want. Um, and I use Chemical Guys. Mr. Mr. Clean or something, something like that, and uh, I make sure that I put enough so that it, it bubbles up there. So we finally got a handheld pump sprayer, but I actually bought the wrong one. I bought Adams Polish's foam pump sprayer, and I need the multi sprayer, so I went ahead and returned it. So that's why you can see here, um, I'm doing a pre a pre rinse of this tire here and we're only going to show one tire in today's video but it is uh, quite a long process you can see that caked caked on brake dust um, and a lot of it is actually weathering that I wasn't able to get off with all of my brushes now there's a few other techniques that I did not try in this video um, but again that amount of brake dust caked on there is literally over 10 years of just straight you know just straight brake dust. So as you can see, this foam sprayer is pretty hard to get it, you know, super consistent. I kept having to, to pump it. So we went ahead and bought that multi sprayer, and I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I'm letting it dwell here for for quite some time, actually. And you want to make sure that you dwell these tires just because all that product wants to sit in there. And so it starts off, the product is red, and as you can see kind of at the top and a little bit on the right-hand side of that uh, tire here it's all brown so if it reaches dirt the chemical from Meguiar's turns brown and if it reaches uh, if it hits like a reddish color kind of reddish pink um, it, it's getting a lot of that brake dust so I'm going ahead and I'm using a chemical guys brush and I this is just a curved uh, tire brush and then I use our chemical guys uh, green brush I don't remember exactly what it's called and what I like to do, I dip it in the soap solution as well as uh, as when I'm cleaning it. And I just do a light touch up on the face here. And then I'm taking, I don't remember the exact product uh, brand, but it is a detailing brush exterior only. We like to use uh, exterior only detail brushes and interior only. That way there's no cross contamination. And I'm just getting in these lug nuts here. Now something that I do that detailers don't always do is I use this detailing brush and I kind of go around the face again in detail. And I know you're going to be wondering, well, that's not very time efficient, but I, I like to make sure everything's more thorough than time efficient, especially just starting out. So that's why I do a little bit of more thorough with the, uh, with the detailing brush. So now we're going to take our Speedmaster. I don't think that's the brand, but that's what everybody knows. And I'm getting off as much brake dust as possible. You'll see here, this process actually took quite some time, about five minutes here and that's uh, how long a tire should usually take um, on its own and I'm just really scrubbing two hands the the brush started to bend you can see I bent it back there uh, and I'm I'm really just scrubbing as hard as I can to get off the first layer of brake dust and you'll see here soon enough I go ahead and rinse this entire tire off um, and then put it another layer of Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner. So I definitely want to tr try some new wheel and tire cleaner in the future. I know a few other uh, detailing YouTube channels that I look up to use some different brands. This one's been working for us somewhat, but again, this brake dust didn't seem to come all the way off, but again, a lot of it was also weathering, and I made sure to tell the customer that up front. Uh, we, we like to, before each detail, explain what we're going to do, take a re-evaluation of the detail of the car and make sure that we can actually get everything done. 
All right, now looking into some business sides of things, there's a few different upgrades you can do to wheels and tires. There's a few products out there that will actually, they're like a ceramic coating for rims as well as the undercarriage um, by the, the wheel well and stuff like that. And that's a, that's a nice upgrade. This customer did not want it. But again, in the future, when a customer does, we'll definitely show you guys how to apply that, et cetera, et cetera. It's not cheap product, um, but it's something that, you know, it takes maybe 15, 20 minutes for the first coat to, to apply and whatnot. Um, and, you know, if you're charging 45 bucks for it or, or anything around there, it's a nice add-on because the, the way that we think about it is that we're already at the customer's house. So for spending another hour there doing a few add-ons for them, we're going to increase profits by a ton. And again, we're not in this business to just lose money. We're in this business to make money and make a lot of profits, especially with two guys working on the, the job. We definitely want to get as much profit as possible. So now you can see here in these rims, there's definitely a lot of caked on brake dust. So I'm going to go ahead and throw another uh, spray down of Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner. And then we are going, I'm going to agitate all of it and see where, what we get out of that. Um, now something else I want to talk about is our product links and all of those we're still working on getting those created from Amazon, but most of our products we do find on Amazon uh, just because the convenience of shipping and whatnot. We're not sponsored by Amazon, but just being able to get all of those products super fast and efficient, and if we can get a link for for you guys to get them, you know, that's even even better for us. So we're getting those to you and just stick around. So here I tried taking this uh, curved tire brush and getting in there, but I didn't actually reach in there as much. So I kind of just let it be and I used the uh, Speedmaster again. You'll see me uh, in, another, in another clip here using the Speedmaster after I go all around the face of the rims again. But as far as the actual tire goes, the first time around you saw that it was still coming out brown um, because it was just so dirty. And it's coming out brown again, so that's why I hit it with another pass, but it's definitely a lot cleaner looking, which means that it's coming out cleaner. So we're definitely cleaning, and it's definitely going well. So the camera eventually dies here in a quick second. I'm sorry about that. So you don't get to see an after shot, but uh, you will see that. I am going ahead and cleaning up all of these um, tight crevices with our detailing brush. So now we're using a product that first time called Tire Wet. We just had some extra left over. And you'll see this. I have a before and after shot coming for you here. And it is a phenomenal product. I don't know how long it withstands. I know that it's no slinging, but the after was absolutely incredible and actually makes your tire look wet. Just remember if you get any overspray that you wipe it off with a microfiber. So take a look at these befores and afters. Wow. All right, guys, that is all for today's video. I know the tire is not the cleanest, but again, it is just incredibly caked on and we did work with the customer and got that all figured out. So without further ado, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you wish. That helps us out a ton. Like the video. And we'll see you guys next week.